What is going on guys, it's CG here with this week's Ark Survival Evolved update. So the update got released yesterday, getting me so excited to jump on it today and check out these two new dinos, as well as the new beer brewing. First up I must mention that the devs have been heavily focusing on optimizations, performance enhancement and balancing tweaks all together. Hopefully making the game a lot better for you guys. In today's video I'll be showing you the two new creatures that were lately added, the Demetrodon and the Dung Beetle as well as a brief showcase into the new beer brewing system. Alright guys, so I've decided to tame a few of these demets right here. I'm going to see how efficient they are protecting you from different temperatures. I also want to know whether these guys are worth taming depending on where you live and what their protection radius is like. So right now I've tamed up about 9 or 10 of them. I think the 10th one was behind that pterodon over there. My only problem with these is that their radius is really, really small. Like, if I run over here, you can see that I'm instantly freezing again, and they are relatively close. I don't have any armor on, so that obviously puts me at the lowest temperature I can be, and puts me at the most danger. However, if you were to tame up a bunch of these guys, I'd only recommend using them if you were getting resources, just to run back and forth to, just to heal up. And if you like cooking food and stuff, they're really not that good. They're uh, bringing a round view everywhere in the snow biome. They walk really slow, and which is quite a pain. Taming-wise, you can just knock them out with any trank arrows or a club. They do eat meat, and prime meat is obviously better for them. And unfortunately, the cable hasn't been updated on the list yet, so I can't tell you guys what that is. Just get this guy to turn around. So I'm going to go jump into one of the hotter biomes, because these things resist you from both types of temperatures so I'm gonna go see if they make any difference in the hotter biomes alright guys so I'm in the swamp this is the hottest place in the game compared to the snow biome I only need one of these guys that gets rid of uh, my hottest temperature and I can survive near these they are obviously better at cooling you down than heating you up so that gives you a reason to still get penguins if you're living in the snow biome the snow biome, I did use nine of these where I only need one of them here, which is really, really good. But then again, these guys aren't really for me. They're a bit too slow. I don't think I'll find them very useful at all. I'll probably just bear the temperatures and run out. And he's having a nice chomp on that snake there. And he's going to the next one. Oh, what's that attacking noise? Ah, oh, sir. Things by my turn. Right, stats wise, because there's been a lot of balancing and stuff going on with lots of dinos, things have been nerfed, things have been buffed, loads of different things. I don't know what's going on, it's all over the place. In terms of stats, this is a level 15 at Demetrodon. It has 630 health, which isn't too bad. The stamina is fairly good, 400. Oxygen, 600. Obviously, they're going to need quite a bit of oxygen. They, they do spawn in swamps and they do spend a lot of time in the water, so. That's key to their survival. Weight, however, is at 255, which isn't too bad. If you had uh, quite a few of these guys and you just wanted to transport stuff from, let's say, that cliff over there to this one over here, these wouldn't be too bad. You could just load up a few items and a few of these and they'd easily get you across to certain locations, giving you the right stuff. And I'm getting attacked by this little beetle here. And I came prepared. Oh, he's going to have a little munch in it as well. Other stats, he has how much stamina I want to know. Oh yeah, we've done stamina. Melee damage is 144.6% and movement speed is 100%. Obviously, that's whatever their base movement speed is, so I don't know what that is. Alright guys, I got myself some dung beetles here. Oh. Well, by the looks of it, they eat meat for their food source. In order to tame these, you need to feed them feces. They work the same as a dolphin would. You have to like walk behind them, well monkeys rather, you walk behind them, follow them about, feed them feces. If you get in front of them they seem to attack you, so it will probably be better if you trap them in a box and do it that way. I'm not sure how they actually work, if I just throw some feces on the floor do they pick it up? Alright guys, I am back after so much time of waiting, I've realised that in order to get these to create the fertilizer, you actually have to put the feces in their inventory. One feces will make two fertilizer and four oil. I literally spent about 
uh, an entire hour just throwing it on the floor and watching them walk around it. Uh, I'm actually quite annoyed to figure out that this is what you have to do. Well, there you go, guys. You know how these things work. They are pretty awesome. They're a lot more efficient than compost bins. With a compost bin, you'd have to have three feces to get one fertilizer. But now you get two fertilizer per one feces, as well as four oils. So you've got your very own oil farm, as well as fertilizer farm. All you farmers out there, this is going to make life so much easier. On my old server, I was the tribe farmer, and it was so painful just to get these plants up and running. Well, I'm just glad to see that I've had this done. I also had to upgrade this pen, because I thought that the wandering on the ground would be better than in the building, which it doesn't make a difference, so... Alright guys, so finally, let's take a look at the new beer brewing system. I've came back to my little setup over here. I've set up this beer barrel. I've hooked it up to water, because it needs to be piped up in order to work. And I followed the instructions, which it says up here, uh, to put batch berries and water in this, wait for the fermentation, and then fill up with a glass jar. So I need to, I'm assuming it uses that water there, otherwise it wouldn't make sense. So I'm going to leave this here for a bit. Hopefully it won't take as long as the Beatles did. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how this goes. Anyway, guys, I'll be back once this is done. Alright guys, so unfortunately I won't be able to show you the new beer brewing in this video. I have been doing a lot of research looking around on many different websites and the wikis. And then I also checked the patch notes page and they have updated it and it says it takes approximately 6 hours to make one beer. Now I have been <laughs> spending a lot of time just staring at this barrel and nothing has happened. So guys, I'm going to have to end the video here. So that's it for this week's Ark Survival Evolved update. Please show some support on these videos by smashing that like button and if you're new here be sure to subscribe for more Ark Survival Evolved content.